Hello, this is Blossoms. That's why I've got some flowers in my hair and I've got flowers on my desk, some lilac from the garden, which is smelling beautifully. So certainly here in the UK, um, Blossoms is celebrated as uh, May Day celebrations or Beltane and the ancient traditions which were all over the UK in medieval and even earlier times would mean that people came out with their flowers and they crowned the May Queen and they jumped over fires. The Celts called it Beltane. So it's been a, a really magical opportunity for communities to get together and celebrate this burgeoning quite kind of sexy time of nature coming out with all her loveliness, all her delicious loveliness. So that's what Blossoms is about really and it also um, pre, uh, pre shadows, pre foreshadows what will come later in the year because of course all the blossoms on the apple trees or the uh, cherry trees they are kind of saying yeah here's the blossom and later you'll get the fruit. So welcome to the Blossoms newsletter video and this video is made to accompany the newsletter that I send out every few weeks for the changing of the seasons but if you pick up this video on YouTube and you're not a subscriber you may not have seen the newsletter so I invite you to go to the website theolin.com and become a subscriber then you will immediately get the newsletter. Now I just say one or two things about what is in the newsletter for those people but also it's a bit of a resume for anybody who is subscribed um, because there are one or two things in the newsletter that I would like to highlight. First of all particularly that over the next few weeks before the following seasonal turn which is called Golden Boughs which is a summer solstice over those next few weeks I will be offering some really um, inspiring free materials for you especially the course called Pathworking with Archangels which um, is starting like now really um, and if you haven't noticed it you would be able to catch up with it so Pathworking with Archangels is a free gift. I also invite you to consider whether you would like to take up the Schaefer Method, which is my particular uh, meditation with bells and whistles, I call it, um, course that uh, you can purchase from the website. And there's a lot more information about it on the website and you can download uh, a free ebook. You could also get a free guided journey um, which will help you decide whether the Schaefer method is for you. And just as a, um, a quick overview, the, um, the Schaefer method leads to something called the Schaefer expansion. Those are both home study courses and later down the line people who follow through those courses if they're interested in using the Schaefer methodology for a healing uh, practice that's already been tried and tested then there will be as soon as we've got uh, out of our lockdowns and we can travel around there will be a Schaefer practitioner course which I'm hoping will be in the springtime of next year. So that's enough promotional uh, content. I really recording this as a reminder to everybody that despite what the human beings are up to Mother Nature is turning, turning, turning. To everything there is a season and this season is a season of blossoms and I do believe if we stay joyful and allow that blooming quality of nature to arise in us and flow, that's what Schaefer means, ever flow. So the flowing process of life which includes the birth, the growth, the coming to fruition, the um, and then and then the gradual fading away into death, and so we must also remember at a time of blossoms 
that all things will come to pass and that people and loved ones will die. What we hope for, what we long for, is that all those people who die will come to their deaths at a time that is right for them. And in that respect, I, I have some concerns when somebody says they died before their time. Because actually I do believe that the time is right, just like the time to be born is right. So think about that little quiet thought. Um, and it's not intended to disturb you. It's intended to say, allowing the natural course of things to develop and unfold is enriching for us. And our lives will be richer, more expansive, more enjoyable. And then when it is time for us to go off, there will be no regrets. And that would be a beautiful thing. And so at this time, we are having so many regrets, really, about the way things are working out for some people. And hopefully that will lead us to find better ways of living in the world, living in harmony with nature. And to that end, I have recommended, I think probably for the second time, in the newsletter, an amazing movie called The Brand New Testament. And it's a Belgian movie. And it's set in the modern times, but God is living in a horrible old apartment in Brussels. And in this apartment, he's got a wife, the goddess. And she's relegated to sweeping and cleaning. And she doesn't get a look in. And God's this incredibly grumpy character. He spends most of his time in a room full of filing cabinets and, a, and an ancient computer that looks like it runs window 98 or something. And he's got tabs on everybody in the world. He knows, and he knows when they're going to die. And his daughter decides to get out. And there are no exits and entrances to this apartment. So how she gets out is really interesting. But her brother has already gone into the world. He's JC. And she decides she wants to go out and she wants to get herself some disciples. And before she leaves, she puts a big spanner in God's works. I do encourage you to watch it. It's really, really lovely. And the end is truly blossoming. So stay joyful and bloom.